I this concerns Hyperland and also actually Wayfire because I tend to tell you guys not to look, uh, not to think in boxes and not to restrict yourself in watching videos because there are many things that are really equivalent or, or parallel or can learn a lot from something on explained on well, like like for example polybar right polybar is in so many desktops explained so well it's the same thing it's the same tool that you can use anywhere same goes for waybar and thanks to milan we have a push in the right direction again to improve code so there is the way of donating money appreciated because we have services and we have hardware that we need to to buy so you can also do donate by by giving you by giving time and and changing code and saying eric i've done this on that and here it is i share my energy my resources with you so we're talking about hyper hyperland and the way bar has changed and two applications have been added and you know the drill a rip so i have added pulse mixer and pa mixer will be added to the iso of arco net arco plasma and arco pro so that these two are included and it makes it easier to say man pa mixer it makes it quite easy to say go and change the volume go and decrease and toggle this and mute that mute that rather than working with go to the scripts and that we keep this always keep the scripts in whatever is in we keep uh, if, if only to learn and also because there is a way bar but like 11 more right these guys are all way bars and if you see the videos you'll know that these way bars are not coming from us so there will be mistakes in there and if you say way bar number four i like it i love it i've changed everything so it works share the code with us we'll do a melt and we compare and put it back in so next time you do a clean install way bar four is going to be working 100 percent. so these things that's that's community right that is uh, false that is open source that is sharing so two things i would install pa mixer i would install pulse mixer what happens the volume has a way of changing like that of course maybe i should make my to repeat control alt u power control or right mouse click also power control so if i delete this one right mouse click you need to set everything up um, this is my microphone that's not an input device or is it well you need to decide which one you're going to take but it's certainly not an output device if you set this wrong so power control needs to be right basically go and have a look say see what it is is in here and set it right so you can actually see this happening right that's the point make sure everything is set right and then you can indeed change things so that's one thing that we've changed the way bar has been has changed as well if you go to the dot config new to the hyper and immediately this is the way bar and know that you can mess this code up that's cool that's okay we're here to learn way bar article melt it's the same thing okay so there's always a backup good to know and in here is the way bar because it's well tricky in the sense that every comma and every everything needs to be correct this for example and it came from milan which is a great little tool custom weather and it's better than our own tool so custom weather has been changed modules control find weather right so of course i've put it in for uh, Okay, but for the rest, you change it. And um, there we go. If we reload this, now I am recording, that's kind of difficult, but when you're developing, you need to do this as well. 
you go to the scripts, that's the status bar. The status bar is basically a running away bar. And I've added a little bit of text here. So this is colorful. It's interesting to be in colors, but maybe you don't like the colors. There are 16 million colors. So there are two of them. One that is mono, so all white. And then you go change whatever you want to change. And you just make a copy, say, I'll keep everything as is, but Ctrl C, Ctrl V, no, I, mean, I own. This will never be overwritten. I don't know your name. And you say here, I like the style mono Eric, right? And that's it. And then you play and play and test. No typos allowed. Let's not do that. So I was uh, derailed a little bit, but here it is. This, there's a lot of fun to be had with designing Waybar. Anyway, save. So I want to launch status bar again. And now I've closed it. I go to the scripts, I go here, I go here, and I say launch me status bar again. Status bar. One, two, three, the weather will pop, will pop up. If I did it right, let's, ah, there it is. <laughs> it took a while. It needs to curl, right? It needs to get data and, and I suppose that some, after some time it gets a response. So now you know the weather in Antwerp, which is not that great at all. But I do see the sun when I look out there. So, okay, but it's cloudy and quite cold. That's it for me. As usual, what do you do? Um, you go to ETC scale. It's here already. So to work, let's remove all this. Remove shortcut and remove shortcut. What I would do is go to the file system, ETC scale. No clue. I'm freaking uh, hunger videos about ETC scale. Right? Drag it here know what this is, know what this does. If we update, we update in here. And if you have time, and only if you have time, I would drag dot config here as well. So you have a dot a click here. And if you're developing on something specific, I'll put it here. Done. And you have immediate access to the files that you're gonna work on. Alright? Enjoy after that.